Right, hey, it's Jack here from Peach Guitars and I just want to draw your attention to something today within the Sir family of products. Um, obviously we do a lot of Sir content here, there's so many products in their range now and if some of you guys have seen our recent NAM coverage you'll have seen that their 2020 output is set to be very exciting. There's a lot of new additions to their signature lineup as well as some changes to their standard and core collections of guitars. And that brings me on to what I wanted to talk about today which is this, this is the outgoing Ian Thornley signature model and it's a guitar that I think never quite got the praise it actually deserved. So this guitar was introduced two or three years ago around the same time that Sir actually uh, introduced at the time their brand new JM body shape and Ian Thornley was in talks at the time to develop a signature model and he decided that that new body shape was the model that he wanted to adopt for his own signature guitar and thus this was born and I think it was quite obviously a bit of a, a strange move for Sir to make most people know them for their S style, T style and their modern uh, body shapes but this was a bit of a departure and so people maybe didn't quite know where this guitar was intended to sit in terms of its tone and the things that you could do with it but really the Thornley model, this one here and including the guitars that are behind me as well which I'll come on to in, in a moment they're really probably one of the most versatile models in the entire Sir catalogue and this year for 2020 Sir have decided to move in a slightly different direction with Ian's signature model. He's actually going for an S style guitar now that's going to carry along a lot of these same specs so a lot of the things that made this guitar so comfortable and so versatile to use will be going into that S style guitar as well now but the JM body shape is no more for the Thornley model unfortunately so this is now the last chance you're going to get if you want to pick up one of these fantastic guitars. So today, as I say, I just want to draw a little bit of attention to them, talk you through some of the specs and play you a few sound clips so that you can hear just how versatile these guitars are. And obviously, if you're the kind of person that maybe has uh, decided against going with a company like Sir for your products in case you think maybe they're a little bit too conventional or if, they, if, if in your mind you think they're just another S-style or T-style guitar company, this proves very much otherwise. This is a very unique design. And there's a couple of uh, differences between the three guitars I'm going to talk you through now, but the basis of them stays the same. They're just absolutely rock solid, incredibly versatile, high quality instruments. Okay, so the basis of these models are HSH pickup configuration, so that in itself is a very versatile setup. Not a lot of other guitars on the market still do this um, outside of certain brands that often tie themselves to sort of S style guitars, so it's quite unusual to see it on this body shape and you get absolute maximum versatility out of this pickup set. So it's Sir's proprietary pickups. You've got an SSH Plus, a V70 single coil in the middle, and an SSV neck humbucker. So that's fairly commonplace for Sir guitars. It's a tried and true formula, works really well to get a whole wealth of different tones. You've got a five-way blade switch as well to get your standard kind of HSS, uh, HSH sorry, pickup splits and stuff like that. But you also have these two little sliders here which I really like this touch because it's in keeping with the classic JM kind of aesthetic that people will be aware of but it does a completely different function to what a classic JM style guitar would do. These are actually individual series parallel switches for each of the humbuckers. So as well as the five way position switch you've got the option to split or actually put each pickup into parallel which in my own personal opinion is actually a better option than having coil splits because it means you've still got the hum cancelling even though you get that single coil style tone and you can have it independently per pickup and it's right here as well so it's very easy to keep track of. So I haven't done the numbers on this but there's a lot of different tones in this guitar um, and basically it can take you everywhere from really sparkly clean tones all the way up to very thick kind of heavy distorted tones and if anyone's familiar with Ian Thornley's material in the band Big Wreck, uh, if you're not you, sh you should be, he covers the full uh, kind of gamut of different tones from, from very sparkly clean to high gain distortion and I'm using a combination of different Sir products today to kind of demonstrate that. A lot of the stuff that Ian Thornley uses himself and I'm doing my own kind of pretty uh, rubbish approximation of those tones but basically just for context I'm using a Sir Rufus Fuzz. I've got the Coco Boost reloaded as well or I was using the mid boost side and I'm playing all the tones through the Sir Hedgehog 50 amplifier which is the combo that Ian Thornley typically uses and I think it's a great little setup, very versatile and it shows off just how flexible these guitars can be. So some other really important specs that made these guitars really popular and comfortable to anyone who tried them, the biggest thing I would say was the, the way that the neck feels. So you've got a roasted maple neck with a 16 inch radius so it's very very flat easy to kind of fret all the way up the neck. You can play up high very comfortably, you can chord down low very comfortably. You've got the typical Sir uh, kind of medium stainless steel frets as well so they're nice and comfortable they don't wear out. But the most important thing is that they developed a new neck profile for Ian. So this is actually kind of a soft V shape 
It's quite a large neck, um, but I think it's one of the most overlooked attributes of this guitar. It really makes it quite stand out. And people have asked me before what my kind of personal preferences are on, on neck shapes, and I do think if you like a bigger neck, a nice soft V, which is quite unusual in the electric guitar realm, is actually very, very comfortable, and this guitar has that, and it's probably the best interpretation of that that I've ever played. Okay, so the only other choice you've got to make here is what kind of bridge you want. Ian decided to make this, again, as versatile as possible. So you've got two different options. You've got this, which is a fixed bridge, Tone Pro's uh, TP6 tunematic style bridge. So that's great for staying in tune, and it's actually a string through body design. So you get a little bit more sustain that way, a little bit more depth to the tone. But also, if you want something with a bit more flexibility, you do have the option of Sir's Goto 510 tremolo on the yellow guitar over my shoulder. And speaking of that yellow guitar, these are three of the coolest signature guitar colours that I think have ever been. You've got this Antigua Burst on this one here, you've got Seafoam Green, and you've got a kind of vintage yellow. So three really cool colours, kind of throwback colours. But I think what Sir do really well is they marry those kind of vintage sensibilities with all the modern features that players want out of their guitars. And these three guitars are great examples of that. And they really prove that you can have a great looking, classic looking guitar, but it's got all these fine tuned kind of performance enhancements under the hood as well. So that wraps it up, guys. Like I say, I just wanted to throw a little bit of focus on these guitars, as unfortunately they are going to be going out the door. And if you want to be in with a chance of getting one, get over to peachguitars.com or come into the store as quickly as you can, because these are the last three that we've got in stock and they will be for the rest of time until the classic S uh, Thornley models comes in slightly later this year. So if you want one and you're interested in finding out more about these guitars, please, as I say, head over to the website. You'll find out all the specs you want to know there. I hope you enjoy the sound clips that you hear in this video too. And if you want any more info on any of Sir's products or any of the other products I talked about in the video, like the pedals and the amp, you can find all that out at our website. So go there right after you've finished watching this video. One last thing, please make sure you're subscribed to Peach Guitar's YouTube channel. Leave us a like and comment down below with your thoughts too if you've enjoyed this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers. <laughs>
Thank you.